And her millions of fans, Todd, obviously waiting to hear that tweet from her. She hadn't posted anything on social media since yesterday, and she had over 57,000 comments from people hoping that she was okay. I did speak briefly tonight to Ariana's father, Ed. He said simply that he hoped for a little compassion. So we also heard from Ariana's reps that she was okay and not injured in this, what police are calling terrorist bombings at her Manchester comment. We came here to Meisner Park, a place in Boca Raton where Grande did grow up and where people often hang out. They said they were saddened and in disbelief to hear of this tragedy unfolding at the concert of a singer who is from here in Boca Raton. Well, I just know that she's from here and it's terrible what's happened. That's, that's terrible. I mean, probably like it, the reactions to her parents that live like not too far from here, honestly. I've heard she like grew up like 15 minutes from here, so it's crazy. Right here in Boca, something can happen. Right now, it's every day you just like gotta be prepared. That's all. But I'm sorry for the people that lost their life, you know, because I love going to concert. Like it could be me going to see Beyonce, and then this happened. You never know. You never know. And this is a look at the Patch Reef Estates neighborhood where Grande lived with her mother until she went on to further her career in New York. A woman who answered the phone inside at that house, her mother's house, says Joan Grande is not home tonight. And here in Boca Raton, people who I spoke to who said they knew of Grande, of course, are just shocked that this could have happened. And we do now have heard from her on her Twitter account expressing that she herself, while not injured, is simply broken. Live in Boca Raton, I'm Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.